Bitsky and welcome to this edition of Hometown. We're here at beautiful Memorial Pool on a gorgeous Saturday morning here with the Chairman of the Recreation Commission, Mr. Jim Marvin. Jim, it's great seeing you this morning. How Thank you, are Mr. You? Mayor. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. Doing very well. Good. Well, thanks for coming out and appearing on TV 36 on, on Hometown. What I'd like to do today is talk a little bit and just, just to really educate the residents more about our, our, recs, our rec commission and what you do and what you oversee and, and the pools and the parks and all the programs that we have because I'm not sure if everyone's familiar with, with the Recreation Commission and more importantly all the services that, that we provide. Great, and I'll so, be happy to do that. So we, before we do that, why don't you just tell us a little background about yourself and how long you've been on a commission Absolutely. and all that. I will, thank you. I've been on the Rec Commission since 2001 and I started out as an alternate on the commission uh, which is what one does when they first get on. We're made up of um, 11 members, the nine are voting members, two are alternates, and then there's a chairman. And after the first year, I was fortunate enough to be named chairman because of some changes that occurred, and it was an opportunity for me to take a leadership role. And I was a chairman for two or three years, uh, and then someone else's turn to, became, to become the chairman um, it was Bill Palatucci, and then Bill served two years, and then you kindly asked me to come back to be chairman, and I did that, and um, I've enjoyed it. It's been great. We have a terrific board. We're um, very conscientious about what we need to do and, and the, always having you know, the citizens of Westfield first. And it's a, it's a terrific opportunity uh, to be part of that. And I've been in Westfield since 1991. Okay. So it's been a great run here in Westfield and uh, I've really enjoyed it. Well, let's, let, let me just name off the board members because I always, I've always tell people one of the great things about Westfield is our spirit of volunteerism and these board members uh, all do a terrific job and they put in a they lot do. of time and the board the, the commission meets is the first Monday of every month right we meet the first Monday of every month at 7 30 p.m. in the uh, conference room in the recreation office in town hall and we have 11 meetings a year we don't meet in August we give uh, August a break because people are on vacations and whatnot and um, you know it's uh, it's what we do yeah. and and the public's welcome to come to those meetings there's a public comment se section Absolutely right, and they can come, and, and if they have any questions or issues they, they want to talk about, they can that certainly is correct. come there. The public uh, frequently does come. There are open public meetings. We post the meetings of the Open Public Meetings Act, and um, we also have the Board of Education um, liaison on our board as well as a town council liaison, so it is a very public meeting. And over the years, we've had some meetings which were very public. We've had uh, a lot of projects we've done, uh, which we'll talk about, I'm sure, but so the public sort of ebbs and flows in the meeting depending upon what we're, what we're discussing. Um, but we welcome the public to come to any of those meetings just to listen, observe, and, and learn about what we do. Great. Well, just, just, uh, and so here are our members, our recreation commissioners, Michael Cash, Pete Eshaw, Gary Fox, Jonathan Jones, Bill Kelly, George Lanzano, Jeff O'Connor, Tom Rippinger, Stacy Ukransky, Lauren Weinstein, and, and Jim had mentioned liaisons, Mark Shiroka, Councilman Shiroka is the town council liaison, and David Finn is the Board of, Board of Education liaison. That's correct. Yeah, so it's our team. It's a, it's a very good group. They're great people. They work hard. They're all volunteers, and uh, they're very conscientious about um, parks and recreation matters, so it's, it's great. They're all very active. Well, before we get into some specifics about what you, the commission is working on, I want you to talk a little bit in generality what, what your role is as, as a commission. Absolutely. Our role really is policy. Um, we make and enforce policy as it pertains to parks and recreation. And that extends from passive parks that we have in town, like Brightwood Park, for example, to the municipal pool where we're sitting today. Um, so we, we follow the, the town code where there is code. We set rules, regulations, hours. Um, Tamaquas Park, for example, we've got our tennis courts over there. Uh, there's lights on those tennis courts, so it's important for us to set policy on when those lights can go on and when they need to go off with respect to the users and then the neighbors. We also work very closely with all the sports organizations in town, uh, Westfield Soccer, Westfield Lacrosse, Westfield Baseball, and all the leagues because they use the fields. And so we do all the scheduling of the field time um, so that it's not chaos, people showing up and saying, hey, I, had to, I was here first. There's a very, very strict schedule. Um, and we have field user meetings uh, several times a year to plan for each upcoming season, whether it be right now we're planning for the fall season. So all, we're, we have very close relationships with all the user groups in town. And it's really, as I said, setting policy. Every once in a while it's refereeing over issues. You know, field, you know fields are in demand. As you mm -hmm. know, we, we have a, uh, a problem with not enough fields and, and many, many users. Uh, and I think the many users is because our town is so popular. People are attracted 
to want to come to Westfield and raise their family. So we have uh, a lot of children in this town that want to play sports and, you know, we try to accommodate them as best we can. And that's a, that's a good distinction that the, the, all these leagues like the Westfield Baseball League and lacrosse and, and even PAL and girls softball, those are private leagues which work, just work in conjunction with the town to run their programs. That is correct. Whereas in other towns, the leagues may be part of the rec commission itself. That's correct. You, you'll hear people say that, oh, I play on the rec team from other towns. And that usually indicates that the recreation department is running that league. In Westfield, that's not the case. In Westfield, we do have a recreation department. We have some very talented uh, employees in our recreation department. It's a handful of people. Uh, Bruce Calkins, the director. Dee McKay is the assistant director. Um, but we just oversee it. So all of those, all those organizations are private organizations. Um, they have their own um, legal status. They're usually uh, 503C, I think that's the term. They're nonprofits, so they mm -hmm. have to establish a, you know, a, a, a proper legal entity. And we enforce that too. In fact, we make sure that they are a proper legal entity, that they have bylaws, that they have um, proper accounting. We do ask for their financials, not to be snooping into their business, but just to make sure that there's you know, they're doing everything fiscally responsible because, you know, we are kind of a face to them publicly. Um, but they are all well run and we're very pleased with, with how, they're, how they operate. And they're all independent, as you said. We just, uh, we just work with them and help them, you know, execute their leagues and their plans. Mm. Well, just so, I mean, I mean we're, we have over 200, I believe it's 210 acres of parkland here in the town of Westfield, which I know the commission's in charge of plus all our fields and our tennis courts, our racquetball court we have, and yeah. um, of course the pool. And so it's, it's a big responsibility and, and you it guys is. do a terrific job. Thank you, it is a big responsibility and uh, we all take it pretty seriously. Uh, we've had field trips every once in a while. We want out, somebody talks about a problem with the field or something's not right, we go there. And we don't, know, we, we don't do it initially on our commission meeting days, but we'll go there on odd days uh, to go take a look. Recently, uh, Gumpert, Park where the baseball has been played. There's been some concerns of the neighbors over there about noise and uh, things like that. So a lot of the commissioners, myself included, have gone over to the field to observe, to see what's going on there, to get a real hands-on feel. Uh, but it's a lot of responsibility because, uh, you know, not just providing recreation facilities and quality rec rec recreational facilities for the children, but there's neighbors. We have this is a, a kind of a tight town where where we kind of put this 200 acres or so. So there's neighbors that live around these parks. And they get very concerned when there's balls flying over their, the fence or there's uh, cars parked in front of their house or blocking their driveways. Uh, or in the case of the pool where we are, in the past we've had issues where a fence would, would fall down or water would leak into someone's backyard. So we have to be very sensitive to those kinds of issues, and we are. And we listen to the neighbors and, and we try to quickly rectify any problem that occurs. So it's a lot of responsibility. It kind of extends beyond what you might think.